The National Conference on Communication is an annual event where experts, researchers, innovators, and stakeholders converge to assess all laid down strategies for the field. Our challenge as scientists, researchers, academicians, and innovators is to leverage this as an opportunity to identify and develop solutions to the critical problems facing our society today and ways in which the various services can be improved for the betterment of our country. Jointly organized and facilitated by Uganda Communications Commission and Makere University, this year's conference is running under the theme Connectivity, Resilience and Innovation in the COVID-19 Era. We are living in an age where communication determines almost everything. And it is extremely important that we make every use of the power that communication has to develop our country. With visual and audio now preferred as best, timely, speedy and convenient modes of communication, Makere University has pleaded for the reinstating of its radio station license, which was invoked by UCC years back. We would also like to publicly say that Makere is a big and a good partner of government. And we could do a good job in conveying correct news to the public. Unfortunately, we lost our license for radio some years back because we were very poor at that time. We didn't pay for license. <laughs> but uh, now we have some money. If you give us back that license and also a license for television, I can assure you we will do a lot to help diffuse fake news that is very rampant in this country. Nawangwe also wants government to set up the Innovation and Research Fund. I would like, therefore, to propose, Honorable Minister, that uh, UCC starts a fund, a research fund, which they can request all those organizations which you oversee to contribute to for research. Uganda Communications Commission, UCC, through its executive director, Irene Kagwase Wankambo, reiterated the commitment for digitalization of the communication sector. On our part, as the regulator of the communication sector, we will continue to collaborate with other stakeholders, especially as a facilitator and enabler of the development of ICTs, as part of our vision to create a digitally inclusive economy. This two-day conference was officially opened by the Minister for ICT, Judith Nabakoba. Nabakoba noted that government is determined and committed to supporting the communication, information and technology industry in the country since it currently renders employment to many. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Uganda, has been consistent in the support for science and technology in schools, universities and tertiary institutions. I wish to reiterate the same message. The government is behind you in your quest to put Uganda on the technology map. Africa was left behind in the previous industrial revolution stages. The age of steam engine, the age of electricity and mass production, then the age of computers and digitization, and now we are looking at communication and connectivity. Although Uganda's communication sector is regarded as one of the most rapidly growing in Africa, underfunding still remains a big challenge. Robert Onyango, UBC News, Kampala.